Why are camera flashes so bright? The chemistry explosion behind photography. Have you ever taken a photo? And B-O-O-M, the flash nearly blinds everyone in the room. Why are camera flashes so insanely bright? Well, the truth is shocking. Early camera flashes were not just bright. They were literal explosions. Let's rewind. In the late 1800s, photography had one big problem. Low light. Cameras needed long exposure times, and people had to sit perfectly still. Blinking ruined the shot. Sneezing ruined the shot. Even breathing too much could blur the photo. So, inventors came up with a wild idea. What if we create our own instant sun? Enter. Flash powder. A mixture of magnesium and potassium chlorate. When ignited, it produced a massive burst of white light, along with heat, sparks, and smoke. Imagine taking a family photo, and the photographer suddenly lights a tiny explosion in front of your face. Yes, this was real. Flash powder was so bright, it could illuminate dark rooms, nighttime streets, even cavern walls. But it was also incredibly dangerous. Photographers got burned. Cameras caught fire. Entire studios went up in smoke. So why was it allowed? Because it worked. It gave the clearest, sharpest images of the era. By the early 1900s, the world needed something safer. Enter the flash bulb, a small glass bulb filled with magnesium or aluminum wire and oxygen gas. When triggered, the wire vaporized in milliseconds, releasing an intense burst of light. Still bright, still hot, but much safer than open explosions. Then came electronic flashes. These used xenon gas in a tube. A high-voltage charge fired through the gas, creating a blinding pulse of blue-white light, just like miniature lightning. And that's what modern flashes still use today. A controlled lightning strike, right in your hand. So why are camera flashes so bright? Because photography began with fire, with explosions, with scientists literally trying to summon the sun for a split second. And even today, Every time your camera flashes, you're witnessing a tiny spark of that wild, explosive history.